Okay, so another idea um, that is pretty common for putting into jars is to put cookie mixes into jars for people to make. Uh, so we're gonna make a holiday M&M cookie in a jar mix. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a bowl because we're gonna mix up the flour, salt, and baking soda first. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna need is one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, so again, we'll go half, and then one. Doing my math for the day. One and a half, and then we'll use our quarter cup for that three quarters. So one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're gonna just put in half a teaspoon of baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda. Okay, and half a teaspoon of salt. Good. And then we'll just stir it all up so that the salt and baking soda is fairly evenly distributed within the um, flour itself. Okay, and then we're gonna just start to layer. So I'm actually using a old honey jar uh, for this one. Um, it's about the right size. So you want one that's about, again, about a liter in size for this recipe. Um, but you could, again, use what you have around. So that's why I say I'm using a jar that used to have honey in it and now is going to become my cookie gift, which I'm quite happy about. So let's grab just forgot the funnel there. So again, you don't have to use a funnel. It just makes things a little bit neater. Um, so I am gonna still use it again for today. And if you're not, then just use a spoon and you can put it in from there. Okay. So we're gonna carefully put this in, trying not to spill too much of it. even it out a bit okay. and then we're gonna put in three quarters of a cup of dark brown sugar so what we're gonna do is we're alternating the lighter ingredients and the darker ingredients just to make it look really pretty okay so three quarter cups um, of dark brown sugar so half a cup first and this one with the brown sugar because it is a little bit uh, more moist you are gonna have to kind of pack it down in there and then three quarters. Good. And you can take that out for just evening it out again, making sure that it's packed down and pretty all to the sides. And you can start to see how it makes a nicer layer there as well. And then we're going to put in some white sugar next. So just regular granulated white sugar, and just a quarter cup of this one. <gasps> a little bit too much there. There we go. Good. And then same thing, just using your fork or spoon to level it out. Good. And next we're going to put in half a cup of chocolate chips, okay, whatever your favorite kind of chocolate chip is, and you could put other things, you could use white chocolate chips, oh look at that, I have just the right amount, how awesome is that, um, good, again just pushing down that a little bit more because I'm going to have just barely enough space to top this off with M&Ms. So I'm actually gonna put these ones in, at least my hands. So it's about a half cup. In this case, I'm just gonna fill the jar to the very top, because that is about right. Um, if you had a slightly larger jar, then you could also um, just use the funnel again. So when I made this the other day with just a regular one quart jar, it fit with extra space. Um, this one's gonna fit just right. And then we're gonna put our lid on. Just like that. So you have a couple nice little layers in there. Okay. 
And so for this one, the one thing with this is that you're not just adding like one ingredient. So with this one, you have to make sure that you do include a label and it's gonna tell your recipient, your gift recipient, um, what it is that they need. So in this case, they're gonna to need to add butter, egg, and uh, some vanilla extract to complete making the cookies, okay? You can't just put all that stuff in here. It's not gonna work. You could make the cookies in advance and give them cookies in a jar, which would be a wonderful gift as well. But if you wanna have it where it's something they can make when they want to make it, then you just wanna make sure you're only putting the dry things in the jar and not adding the wet.